things you need to know because of margin trading. Spread betting is a leveraged traded product and spread betting providers will insist that you deposit a certain percentage of the total market exposure you take with them before they will permit you to open a trade. The deposit is referred to as margin and acts as a guarantee that you will honor the contract. You can lose a lot more than you put up. Now the ability to leverage your position opens up the possibility for greater trading profits. Of course, on the downside, being leveraged also exposes you to losing more than your initial stake. Take that example of buying 10 pounds per point of Marks & Spencer when Marks & Spencer is trading at 300. Now this is the equivalent of buying 1,000 shares and instead of having to pay the full purchase price 3 times 1,000 of 3,000 pounds, you might only have to put down 10% as a margin in which case you only need 300 pounds to open the trade. But what if Marks & Spencer announces a really bad earnings and its share price crashes to 200? You will have lost 10 pounds per point at 100 points which equals 1000 pounds and you have to pay your trading company that 1000 pounds even though you only paid 300 pounds to make the trade. The dreaded margin call. Now should this happen and there aren't sufficient funds in your spread betting account to cover the losses or potential losses on open trades, then your spread trading company will call you to top up the account to the required level. This is what is known as margin or a margin call and you are legally obliged to have sufficient funds in your account to cover any potential or actual losses. Each spread trading company has their own criteria and time skills for customers to make the transfer of funds. You should make yourself aware of your company's requirements. Being on margin, you must be aware of this because you must be prepared to pay that loss. Because of the potential of losses while trading on margin, as if dealing with someone else's money, it's important to place stop loss orders to protect yourself from too, losing too much. Now many companies make it mandatory to use stop loss orders, but remember, you don't want to place your stop loss too close to the current price, because if it dips down just a little bit, you might get stopped out and you still believe the price is likely to go up. All of a sudden, it might shoot up in price and you will have lost out on that profit just because of a temporary dip. For more information, visit www.spread-betting.com.